Hello everybody, this is Dawn Richardson and I just uh, felt really guided to share a little conversation here with the Divine Masculine counterpart for any that may find us in the future. Um, so first of all, great job. You guys are doing great. It's fine. You're not slow. You're not behind. You're not too late. It doesn't matter how fast you get here etc 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 so chill you're doing great it's awesome you know what here's the thing I want you to know you've been contributing to this all along with your divine feminine counterpart even if you're not quite sure you believe in that yet you have you have come here to this place to this time to make to be a part of a great birthing a great work and bringing forth something that the world has never seen before and ushering in um, a new opportunity for humanity and for the earth. Now I know that can feel really big and can feel really like what? <laughs> Disorienting and um, a lot can be triggered by that and for many of your divine feminine counterparts um, they know they've been through this and the truth is we most of us had quite some time to get accustomed to this uh, in terms of you know the length the duration of our own journeys um, for myself it's been a good uh, <laughs> really 30 years but you know a, a focused um, awakening process for um, almost a decade and um, getting accustomed and understanding this greater, deeper truth, this knowing, whenever it was that you um, became aware that you um, were um, a soul that was that was um, belonging to another. So, um, and maybe some of you aren't, and that's just fine. It's just fine if you don't believe a word of it. Um, then know that you're doing exactly what you need to be doing and all is well and you are loved and you are love. So the, the, I just want to speak for a moment to what can happen um, as we come into um, greater alignment with our soul's truth individually in case this resonates for you and where you are. So um, what can begin to happen is, so first of all, it will rock your world, <laughs> no question about that, and um, you will begin to question uh, a lot of what you um, have what you have come to know, what you've understood. I have a poem called First You Will Think You Were Dreaming um, that I'll put a link to here um, that was helpful. That was what I experienced in my own awakening journey. But in terms of being um, in uh, a male body and or in uh, embodying the masculine energy in this earth plane, that's quite a different experience than what um, the feminine um, counterpart experiences and it's important to be just present to your own journey and to know that there is support there for you um, and to to see yourself through the eyes of love always and to know that in the highest realms and from your divine feminine counterparts higher self she sees you always and ever only as love and that you do have a connection whether you realize it or not in the uh, fifth dimensional plane and beyond um, with with that part of your heart and soul and and that is always there for you. It is always cheering you on, whatever your choices, even if your choices are absolutely not aligned with what your um, Divine Feminine would want here and now. Um, you are loved and you have that support always. I also want to just ask you to be gentle with yourself because as you are coming more and more into alignment with your soul's truth and radiance and as you are understanding this journey that you are on and awakening to the possibilities and all of the Im implications and the ramifications because yes, it requires a great deal of restructuring and reordering in terms of how you live your life and how you approach things should you choose to 
embrace this fully. And that is always your choice, right? There's no forced here. You may choose whatever you desire for your own life and your own path and your own journey and trust your heart. So as we're thinking though, as you are adjusting to this and you may begin to see some things need restructuring and a common uh, occurrence or experience can be, you know, sort of the rubber band effect, right? Like, oh, what? That's too much. And so you can actually be triggered into sort of a circumstance where you are responding reacting you're reacting to that awareness that new level of truth within you um by in some pretty um uh, in less than desirable behaviors for yourself and your own life and all those connected with you and that can look like addiction it can look like um being triggered it can look like anger it can look like um uh, overwork and uh, distraction and busyness. So just be aware of those things and just know that in every moment you can choose and choose again and you can return to the whole heart and to just put your hand on your heart and to know that that is where you, your truth is. Okay. So much love. I may make a, a few other videos as um, things occur to me to share with you, um, particularly for the Divine Masculine. Much love.